Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Hi everyone, so today we will analyze the profile of last week. So let's begin. This is GBP Odd and the period that we look for is this period right here. So as you can see, there was this yellow line, 180.325, touch on Monday, late Monday, and it made a doji. So it made a doji right here. So your entry when you get a doji at the level of support and resistance is a breakout entry, so a buy stop right here. So stop loss is a bit below right here, and your target profit should be three times. Three times your stop loss. So 42 pips stop loss, and it made 170 pips in three rise up. So this is a winning trade. And for the week, that's the only plane line that touched, and it was confirmed with this trend line, weekly trend line, the white. So that's it for GBP odd. Now let's go on Euro odd. So Euro odd last week, it made a bit the same than GBP odd on Monday, and after it came back on Friday. And on Friday there is no candlestick to take a buy right here, and uh, so there is no trade, no trade. Here. Let's look on odd Singapore. So we have one yellow line in the middle touch. Let's see what happened. <coughs> so we are on odd Singapore last week, and this yellow line uh, touch, but here it created doji. There is no breakout of the doji. We take only breakout when it's a doji forming, and no real pin bar here, so we don't take it in this way. The power is up on my chart, so I would not have taken the other one, because as you can see when price came back to this specific level it make a very nice pin bar and this pin bar made at least two rewards so it's a nice trade but I don't count it I just show you so that's it let's go on OGP1 touch on Monday and this one qualify very well as a pin bar because the week is like 80% of the total length of the candle so you could have entered this one at the break and you place eventually your stop loss below the end of the week like right here or at 60% of this week right here and since it's a very big candle you take maybe 1, 1.5, 2 reward maximum but in any case you don't lose this trade it's still a winning trade when you have big candle really think about taking less reward but still it's a good trade so we are on odd New Zealand uh, nothing touch because it touch on Friday night so we have no line, let's go on OTCHF. OTCHF, so if you look at the daily chart, read what I post last week on my profile, downtrend but nice pin bar at the monthly support, so likely will go up after a retest. So what happened is price touch makes this very nice pin bar right here, retest and go up, so we have, we have made money last week with this one, and now it retests again for the third time, and when we go on the 4 hour chart, you can see that the retest made another nice pin bar. So same supply, the candle is very big, so you enter eventually at the breakout, but you take a, a stop loss shorter, or the biggest one right here, stop loss value, but you take 1, 1.5, 2 reward maximum. Or if you put your stop loss a bit riskier place, below the yellow line, which is a line of monthly support, which protect a bit your stop loss, you can make 2.5 reward on this trade. And it's still running in profit, it might touch this week. I count it as a winning trade because it's qualified, obviously. Odd CAD, no line touch last week. Odd USD, there was a, a dotted line, which is a monthly support and resistance. Let me it so we can see quite clearly. But, so what we have here, same. There is this level right here and the price creates this pin bar. So you can enter eventually right here and you take one reward, 1.5. And this is a win anyway. 
but it's not exactly at the level so I don't count it but the same pattern than in other Australian dollar pairs then it breaks the level right here this candle is a doji no breakdown so no trade then it come back and it made an angle thing so eventually you could have taken this middle of this angle thing as a retracement trade and this one is a loss so I count it as a loss the first loss for, for now and uh, as you can see since this one lose and go down we have a very nice candlestick right here this is a pin bar the week is more than 60% of the total length of the body and after you can take a breakout or not and it make 1.5 around 2 reward depending on your entry if you enter at the end of the candle you could have made 3 reward on this specific trade I will count it and I explain to you why because there is an arrow saying that the power is down and we can see it's a clear downtrend so this level reacting recreating a perfect pattern right here we can count this trade as a, as a winning trade and it's still running in profit as I talk to you now let's look at CAD pairs CAD CHF Singapore and gold metals so CAD CHF nothing touched last week CAD GPY we have interesting things there so CAD GPY what do we have we have this very nice M formation and you could have taken it but I don't count them because it didn't touch my line and on Friday no Thursday sorry here it touch exactly the level it creates a pin bar I took a breakout or eventually a retracement and this one made three reward obviously compared to the stop loss right here so this is a winning trade on CAD GPY now let's look at CHF GPY we have nice trade here too read what I write third level of drop might reverse up from there and look this one is a beauty because it creates this doji so you could have entered eventually at the breakout of this one and this one is a loss I count it of course but just after what really happened and it's very nice it's a nice pin bar totally confirmed and at the retracement entry right here it made 3 reward and if you take the breakout it made 1.52 that's what I advise anyway so this one is a winning trade so we have first one loss then followed by a winning trade on this specific one at the level of support and resistance now let's look at CHF Singapore it touched on Friday and uh, this candle is not really a doji so for me there is not really a pattern like that I prefer to see a pin bar or a very nice doji with good size so there is no trade Singapore GPY there is a trade now this one is a doji but at the breakout nothing touch after it make a doji inside breakout no trade either didn't trigger then there is this little pin bar after those pattern you can take it so the stop loss is above this pin bar and this made two reward let's check 22 and it made 36 so no it made 1.5 reward and uh, I would have moved my stop loss to break even when I see this consolidation right here so this one for me would have been a break even but for worst case scenario I will count it as a loss and then after you have a pin bar right here which is not broken down but you might have uh, an entry right here which is loose so I count, I count it again as a loss but it's only half size and uh, no trigger on the other side so that's it let's look at gold what do we have on gold we have this nice pin bar and the strength of the market was going up with my arrow still it is so eventually you have a trade right here at the retracement of the pin bar or at the breakout and the retracement made 3 reward I'm sure of that 45 and 200 pips so this one made 3 reward so it's a winning trade and the other one made around 1.5 2 reward so winning trade on gold on the dotted line but it's a bit more risky so could have not taken it and we have uh, we have we have uh, silver 
silver USD that was on my chart last week and I have this nice doji breakout and it's still running so you could have placed your stop loss at break even but this trade can be running or stopped out at break even so no loss for this one now let's look at euro pair so euro it touched at the very beginning of the week the first 4 hour candle right here and the week is more than 50% of the body so this is a pin bar confirmed so you can take the entry at the breakout going down since I have an arrow saying that this is a downtrend and you can take eventually a retracement both trade this one the three reward is here and this one the three reward is here so it's a winning trade I count it obviously now let's look at Euro CAD so Eurocat were in a downtrend, let's see what happened. So beginning of the week, price go down, we are in a downtrend so we don't take any buy right here. And it took the round number and work on the round number but no trade on this pair at our specific level. Then uh, downtrend on Euro CHF, let's look at it closely, it touched only the trend line right here. So what happened right here is you have little size doji, I don't like to take it, but it would have been in the breakout. And uh, personally I don't take little candle like that, I take candle bigger. But when I see this pin bar right here, this pin bar for me you have a breakout entry and a, a mid-size entry. And this one, uh, the retracement entry made 3 reward already and the other one is running with 1 reward 1.5 already. I count this one as a winning and to make sure in the probability I count one loss if you have taken the doji as a breakout so so far we have nine win and five losses but know that the winning made around three reward except for two trades so anyway it's a lot of money already so we are on Euro New Zealand and Euro New Zealand there was a very nice trade outside the envelope but uh, complicated to take because it touched on Monday it make a very large spike up and go all the way down so this one I, I don't advise to take it because it's only one, 150 pips and uh, even if you would have taken and placed your stop loss very large above it's still, it's still in, a, in a winning phase right now but anyway after it came to retest but it didn't touch my level so I would not have entered the second entry right here second entry and uh, I don't take this trade because it didn't touch my level right here so no trade on Euro New Zealand now let's look at uh, Euro GPY Euro GPY nothing touch yep. nothing touch Euro Singapore uh, nothing touch except Friday night and it made a pin bar just after breaking the level with a big candle but it's Friday night so during the weekend if you don't hold any trade it's not so much a big deal because you see there is there is quite some gap on Monday so no trade on this specific one and Euro Hong Kong Euro Hong Kong nothing let's look at GBP pairs so GBP pairs the power is up on Euro GBP and uh, we had a trade going down but it was against the strength so I would not have taken this one but this one would have been a, a, good, a good one with the retracement entry but with the strength of the market since it's an uptrend no trade GBP try nothing GBP Singapore so GBP Singapore we, are, we have the arrow about the downtrend right here so right here and it touched on Monday morning first for our candle so what happened and it created a nice doji and this doji is not too too much big so you can place eventually 1% breakout entry 1% uh, retracement entry same stop loss above the spike and the retracement made obviously 4 to 5 reward and this one made 2 1.5 reward and uh, the stop loss is still not triggered if you hold it the whole week and it continues to fall around 2.5 reward for the biggest entry so this is a winning trade let's look at GBP New Zealand now 
So GBP New Zealand, beginning of the week, very close to our level, it made a doji, and after breakup, and this one was a winning trade, but it didn't touch the level, so I don't count it. I talk about this specific one with the doji breakout like here. And after what we have is a very strong level, reject the level, the price very nicely, but it made a so much big candle that pff, I would not have entered this trade. Or eventually I await the retest of the level with a nice uh, candlestick confirmation, which hasn't happened yet. Now let's look at GBP yen. Nothing touch GBP CAD. GBP CAD we have touch during the week. Uh, Oh no, it reversed just before, same as uh, all GBP pair at the same time actually. We have, I add my Fibonacci and sometimes it reverses at the Fibonacci, not exactly at the level that I expect, but it made a nice doji right here, and this doji made huge move up. And uh, we have a touch on Friday, yeah, Friday, right here. But this is uh, no candlestick uh, confirmation. The doji is very, very big, so we can't do anything about that. And the other candle is a pin bar, so it makes for me it means maybe the price will drop more. So no trade on GBP CAD. Let's look at GBP CHF. GBP CHF, nothing touch. GBP USD. Our uh, GBP USD. Let's look at it. For our chart, beginning of the week, see is the same. I had a white line, which is a weaker line. Price didn't reach it, and after pff, go up again, so this was a winning trade, but didn't touch the level, so I don't count. After it reached my 59 and 61 Fibonacci plus a weekly uh, weaker level, and it made a nice rejection again. So if you use scalping method um, that I teach, eventually you could have made a lot of money, but no real pattern to our level so no trade here okay so now let's look at New Zealand so knock GPY nothing New Zealand GPY so on Monday it made a pin bar and the pin bar uh, was running at break even or nearly uh, who, or you could have taken eventually one reward if you take a breakout of this specific candle with a shorter stop loss because the candle is very big but my level right here is a very strong level so I was expecting something to reject very widely that's what it did so now what I expect is the price to retouch it and to take for a buy again so no real trade on this one I don't count it and the DCHF so on Monday we have a very beautiful pin bar so I, I have taken this one and you could have finished break even or you could have, have one reward, eventually two, if you take a shorter stop loss. So I don't count it, but there is no loss there, only win or break even. Then NZD CAD, NZD CAD. So power go down. Actually, we have a lot of trade touching last week. So let's check together. So we have this arrow. Let me remove the Fibonacci so we see clearly. So this arrow right here, downtrend, and eventually this level to take for a buy. So what happened is price breakdown, create a nice pin bar right here, and this pin bar is making three rewards, so it's a winning trade. One more. And after that, this arrow is around this level, so I expect this level to react in the upside direction. This eventually, if you have taken this pin bar, it's not confluent with any level of support and resistance, so uh, taking this one is a, is a bit more risky. And after, as you can see, since there is this downtrend, price is making an angle thing right here, going down, and you can have eventually entered at the retracement or the breakout of this angle thing again, and this makes free reward whatever you do. So it's a winning trade, again. We have two winning trades on this chart. I can count the losing trade right here. So we have a pin bar forming at the level, so this one qualify. Your stop loss is here, you enter at the retracement or the breakout, and this one is a losing trade. Then, uh, no, nothing, the price didn't make another pattern after that, so that's it for this one. So this is a losing trade, 
So the account of losing and winning, so far we have 12 wins, 6 losses. Ok, so now look at uh, tech, 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 tech. New Zealand USD. So New Zealand USD, what do we have? Uh, we have, at the beginning of the week, touch the level and make 50 pips. And when it retouched, it made a pin bar. This pin bar qualified, you could have taken it, and this one is a losing trade. Then, uh, since this broker, this level is broken widely, price come back to it, make a pin bar, but very little size, and after price break down again. So when this level is broken, this arrow is no more uh, validating, and this one is the arrow you follow, and the trend continues to go down. So you could have taken this one, I don't count it, but this trade is a winning trade and you could have taken it according to the trend on the chart. Now let's finally look at USD pairs. So USD, nothing, sec GPY, nothing, USD ZAR, nothing, yeah, nothing here too, on USD Singapore, USD CHF, what happened? So for me we were in a downtrend and the price made, uh, this is not a pattern right here but this is a nice pin bar so eventually a retracement entry breakout entry there is no entrance because the next candle didn't break down so there is no breakout entry but retracement entry you made one reward and after it break up so you could have lost this one so I count it as a loss so we have uh, 8 losses 12 win for so far with a reward of 2 to 3 minimum depending on the trade USD JPY uh, so, beginning of the week on USD JPY, we have a nice pin bar, so you could have taken eventually a breakout stop loss here or here. This made one, eventually 1.5 reward, so for me it's a winning trade. And then after what we have? We have this didn't touch the level right here, so no trade. And after we have this creating a nice pin bar, short stop loss, breakout entry, and it made two reward for now, it's still running. So I just count one trade, but there is two setups that made money on this specific pair. Now let's look on USD CAD. Uh, for me the strength is going down during this specific week. So what happened? Price is up at the beginning of the week, breakdown. So this, no trade to take. After, at the 200 EMA, make a nice pattern with pin bar, two pin bar, one pin bar, one pin bar. And uh, one could have taken out the other one, but we don't take the moving average. They are just here for indication and for advanced trader. So that's it. No trade here. And after, no pattern going down. All the patterns that you see, railroad track, are going up. So maybe the trend is not finished going up. And uh, for me, I still expect the price to touch this line, which is a very strong weekly level, and to fall down after that. So we will see this week about that. So that's it for USD pair and that's it for all the trade during this week. So I summarize, we have 13 wins on this specific uh, profile for last week only and you have 8 losses. So the win rate is 62%, 61-62% of this specific one and the reward are 2, most of the time 3, which means around 35 reward for 8 risk. So if you place 2% each, it makes 28 reward times 2%, it makes 56% of your account. Profit only one week taking those trades properly the way I show you. Following the lines and the trend of the market. And as usual, if you have any difficulty, you take the screenshot of your trade, you send them to me, and we analyze to work together, and uh, I help you to, to improve your result on this specific uh, strategy, which is working. So far, I haven't seen any non-profitable week using this strategy and the analysis. So, don't hesitate to comment and let me your, your thoughts, your questions, anything below the video or on my group, Telegram or Discord. This is the end of the lesson. Subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I post a video. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. 
If you have any constructive feedback or if you want me to do a video on a specific topic of trading, write a comment below, I will appreciate. If you need free signals for binary option and forex, you can join my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. I provide my analysis on more than 30 pairs every week, plus alerts and signals in real time. If you are serious about trading and you want to learn to become profitable, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option and one on forex. More than 10 hours of teaching each. Some are live with me, some are in streaming. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous successful student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market. It's a true ECN low spread and commission. Regulated in Australia, their link is below. Bye everyone.